I mean, it's pretty simple when you think of cervicogenic headache. It's the headache generated from a cervical region. I mean, it's purely in the name. Uh, as with anything, we need objectives, so we're going to review the brief history of cervicogenic headaches. As always, we need to identify characters of cervicogenic headaches and then figure out how to treat them. Uh, cervicogenic headache has been around as a definition since 1983 by Josh Stott. The prevalence is 0.4 to 2.5 um, of the general population, and about 15 to 20 percent of patients uh, who have headaches can be diagnosed with chronic headaches. The mean age is about 43, the uh, more prevalent in women than men, and the symptoms can mimic uh, migraine and tension type headaches. Uh, so it's real important to try in your, after you evaluate the patient, develop a differential diagnosis. So if you develop that differential diagnosis, you have a plan, and then you can institute your treatments.